Hello everyone, welcome to our one minute and one image session on anatomy by me, Dr. Angit Khanderwal, your anatomy educator. Let us see some features of the iconic subscription over here, both an academy and prep letter. These are all the special class features, you can see them. Then you have a new updated and highly effective QBank with the detailed explanations over here. Then you have all the new batches which are coming up from the 1st of September 2021. So the new batches for FMG is next and need PG batches. Then you have the need PG one month package is still valid. So I think this is the last best time to get use of it. List of grant tests with a date and time over here. And still have a yearly package and a four yearly package for both plus and iconic. Once you check out, you get those two options of plus and iconic with a time period in the package over here. You can choose any one of them and you can also use this code Dr. Ankit Live to get them ex some uh, extra discounts. So let's come to our session. Which session was a image session with anatomy? And here is this image. Now, what is this old big image over here? This is the image from the female pelvis. Image from the female pelvis, and you're looking for the superior view. Superior view. What is over here? In this part, imagine you are seeing at the female pelvis, obviously, but the superior view. Now remember, in female pelvis, there are three main pelvic organs. If you go from anterior to posterior, you have the bladder. Then you have the uterus and behind you have the rectum anal canal. Now with the uterus, on the sides of the uterus, you have the broad ligaments which cover up the fallopian tube. right? So this uterus and the broad ligament, it sort of divides the whole female pelvis into an anterior area and a posterior area. Anterior area having the bladder and the stuff, posterior area having the rectum and the surrounding structures. So this is the superior view. So this you are looking at the upper part of the uterus. So which part it would be? It would be the fundus of the uterus the fundus of the uterus now this side you are having the fallopian tubes going on so let me just call it over here just writing ft over here for fallopian tube and same with ft over here for the fallopian tube now we know the parts of fallopian tube okay if you go from <coughs> lateral to medial you have infundibulum then you have ampulla then you have isthmus then you have interstitial part this part <coughs> is the infundibulum part of the then this dilated part is the ampulla part and the isthmus and the interstitial part same on the this side now look what is this organ connected to the infundibulum that has to be the ovary these are your both ovaries over here these are both ovaries over here they lie posteriorly that tells us that this area is the area for the rectum and surrounding structures therefore this is the recto uterine pouch this is what that is going to be recto uterine pouch the peritoneum or what we normally you know this uh, call it as a pouch of Douglas right so this is that area and clearly this is the bladder over here so you will have the uterovesicle you will have the uterovesicle over here and clearly now see few other things what are those uterus fallopian tube ovary ovary is connected to the uterus by the ligament of ovary I hope you can see this over structure over here that is the ligament of ovary L over ligament of ovary now that ligament of ovary goes to the corner of the uterus. Cornu we call where the filament tube enters the uterus. So this is the ligament of ovary which continues from cornu anteriorly in as the round ligament. So this is your round ligament of uterus. The round ligament of uterus, mind you, we all must be knowing it is the content of the inguinal canal in females. That is round ligament of uterus. Okay. Same way on this side, this will be the ligament of ovary. I'm just writing a ligament over here, and that is a round ligament of uterus. Round around the uterus over here. These are the two of the derivatives of the gubernaculum in females. Because remember, in male, the gonad, the testes, they descend down through it via the canal into the scrotum. But in females, they get stuck over here due to the developing uterus and fallopian tube, which is derivative of paramesonephric duct. If you remember some embryology over here, fine. So these are few things, and uh, mind you, the one more thing which I may try to show you over here, but on the sides of the ovary laterally and above this area is basically the area which will be having the suspensory ligaments of the ovary what are they suspensory ligaments of the ovary i am just writing over here that suspensory ligament now what is that for how will the ovary get its nutrition now, for the testes we have the whole spermatic cord and the testicular vessels and the pemperium complex and all that but how will ovary get the blood supply this suspensory ligament of ovary or also known as the infundibulo pelvic ligament will be carrying the ovarian vessels Ovarian vessels, the nerves, the lymphatics, to and fro from the ovary. That area is a suspensory ligament, also known as infundibulo pelvic ligament. Okay, so this was the image. I hope you enjoyed it and understood. Some concept would be clear over here. So that is all, guys. Download the app. 
and uh, like, comment, share, subscribe and for the videos. That's all. Follow us for more images. Thank you. All the best.